So you have a Starlink Mini and you're like, yes, I'm ready to go set this thing on the dashboard or the roof of my car and have internet on the road. And then you realize that Starlink sends it to you with this power brick. How do you run this off the car? Stay tuned, we're gonna show you how. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I'm super excited because I have a Starlink Mini and I actually won this Starlink Mini uh, from a giveaway that Comms Depot is doing. So thanks Comms Depot for sending me the Starlink Mini. I was super excited to, to win it. I was really excited about this, guys, because obviously, you know, we do a lot of, you know, camping and hiking and fishing and, and you know, getting out in the woods. And I have a Starlink Gen 3, but that's a pretty big Starlink to carry around. And so I was like, man, this is going to be awesome. I can carry this and I can just power this up and, and, and use it wherever I want. And I hadn't really looked into the Starlink Mini much because I had a Gen 3. And so when I opened the package, I saw that this is what they send you to power the Starlink Mini, right? So it, you plug a little cord in there and that cord runs to the Starlink Mini and you're good to go. Except this isn't a 12 volt power supply, right? This is for 110 alternating current that you have at your house. And... I mean, while I do have an inverter, and I could run this off my inverter in my cargo camper or in my portable power box build, the whole point of having a Starlink Mini was to be able to run off 12 volts. If I was just going to run off my inverter, I'd run my Starlink Gen 3 anyway. Well, I was contacted by a company called Parts for Star, right? And partsforstar.com is their website. And they asked me, they said, hey, would you be interested in reviewing some Starlink accessories? And I was like, oh man, I have a Gen 3. I just got a Mini. I need accessories. So absolutely, what do you got? And they said, well, pick some stuff off the website and let us know what you want to review. And I came across a DC to DC converter for the Starlink Mini. Guys, and it looks like this. So basically this is the DC to DC converter and you can mount this permanently. You can just, you know, you can just screw it in, right? And mount it to a wall or whatever if you wanted to permanent mount it like in a camper or something uh, or your RV, whatever you wanted to do. It has a cigarette lighter plug on one side and then on the other side, right? It has a plug that you can either use the cable that comes with the Starlink or this device also comes with its own cable. So I'll pull the cable out here. And so I'm super excited about this because this cable's uh, shorter than the one that Starlink sends, right? So if you just need a short cable setup, you don't have to pull out the huge cable that Starlink sends with the, you know, with the, with the Starlink Mini. So basically what this does is it goes into the Starlink on the back side. Right, so it fits really nice in there. You can see it's got the it's got the waterproof uh, wings, I guess, around the connector, right? And then this side just goes right in there, right? And it's plugged in. And then this plugs into your cigarette outlet. And you know there are people that run Starlink on the dash of their RV or their tow vehicles or running down the road or put it in the back window of their car or SUV, uh, deploy this you know when they're camping. So we're gonna do that next. We're gonna go plug this into the van and see how it works. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, we have everything set up and running. So as you can see, I've got my Starlink Mini on the dashboard of the van right now. I've got a somewhat obstructed view of the sky. I don't really have many spots on my property where I can get away from trees, so this is the best I can do. But as you can see, we are plugged into the little DC to DC converter provided by PartsForStar.com. And as you can see over here, I'm running my new YouTube channel, which is Comms by Kemp Outside. So be sure to check that out, guys all about radio communications, satellite, internet, mesh-tastic, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna be focused on 
comms and tech gadgets for the outdoors over on that channel. But it's working, guys. I've got internet in the van running a Starlink Mini on the windshield. Now, that's crazy to me. I'm not going to drive like this. This isn't how I'm going to have this normally set up. But there are a lot of times when we might just be uh, stuck in a parking lot, stuck in traffic, whatever, want to knock something out. My wife always sits in the passenger side with her laptop and is working all the time. We could easily just deploy the Starlink on the windshield in that situation, probably on her side, and have satellite internet as we're going down the road. So these are really, really cool and obviously really easy to use, right? So the Starlink cord is, is, is plugged into the Starlink that's plugged in here, right? And then this is just plugged into my cigarette lighter down on the dash. This is not that hot. It's a little warm, but not, you know, not even close to being hot. And of course, as I said before, it's got screws. So you could mount this somewhere if you wanted to. We're not going to mount it because we're going to want the ease of taking it with us. Uh, there are opportunities to use the Starlink even on the boat, right? We could plug this into the cigarette lighter on the pontoon boat and have Starlink internet when we're boating. So this is going to get a lot of use. It's going to get a lot of use in a lot of places, but I absolutely love this thing. Guys, it is 95 degrees here in Tampa. I'm running the air conditioner in the van. Hopefully it's not too loud and detracting the sound, but let's go back inside and finish the video. But guys, this thing is awesome. I don't know why Starlink doesn't ship with something like this, but if you want this, partsforstar.com is where you can get it. I'll put a link down in the description below. And also there's a, there's a discount code down there where you can save 10%. So be sure to check that out. Let's go inside and finish the video. Well guys, I could not hope for a better power adapter for my Starlink Mini. I love this thing. This thing is awesome. It's gonna be so easy to deploy this anywhere I want. And then with the ability to just plug into 12 volt anywhere that has a cigarette lighter, it's gonna be even better. So one of the things that I really, really like about this kit, guys, is you can buy just this, right? Which is the cigarette plug and the DC to DC converter with the female plug, right? And you can use your, your cord that came with the Starlink Mini itself to plug into this and rock and roll. Or for an additional amount, you can add this little six and a half foot cable. And guys, what I really like about this is that if you're doing something where you're just setting the Starlink up on the dash of your vehicle or you're setting it on the hood while you're parked or maybe the roof of your vehicle, you don't wanna deal with I mean, I don't even know what the size of the cord is that comes with a Starlink. 50 feet, 25 feet, I don't know. It's, it's, it's big, right? You don't want to deal with all that cord. You just want to get yourself a nice little small cord so that you can power your Starlink Mini. I mean, it's just the way to go. And so I highly recommend that if you're going to do this, go ahead and order it with the extra six and a half foot cable. I think that you'll be glad that you did. And then guys, again, you know, I love that you can mount this, you know, and just, you know, attach it. If you have a permanent place, if you know that this little Starlink Mini is gonna be, you know, permanently mounted somewhere, it's very easy to permanently mount this. And then, you know, you can just plug this in or, or unplug it as you need. But for me, I like to keep it uninstalled so that, that way I can move it from vehicle to vehicle. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a go kit. I'm probably gonna put this in a little laptop bag or something like that and create a little go kit for it uh, with all the things that, that I need to, to power it. And you know, one of the things I'm gonna cover in a future video are these guys too, which are USB-C to Starlink connectors. And these will operate off any 65 watt power delivery USB-C device you have. So if you have a power bank or you have, a, you know, just, well, here's one that I have, right? That's, you know, this one you plug into a wall, right? For a computer, but it has a 65 watt power delivery uh, USB-C. And so I can power the Starlink Mini right off of this. I don't have to carry the Starlink one that they provide. I can just, 
you know, because I have this one in my carry bag all the time, I can power my Starlink off it, no problem. So I'm also going to put a link to these too, guys, but I'm going to do a video on this. I actually did a video short on these over on comms by Kemp Outside because I just think that they're super cool and you can get them in either a one or two pack. So again, be on the lookout for that. I don't want to give away too much. I probably said too much already. I'm just super excited about all the stuff I got from Parts for Star. I've got a tripod for the Mini that we're going to test out. I've got a bunch of different stuff that we're going to test out. I've got a DC to DC power converter for the Starlink Gen 3 that's going to be permanently mounted in the cargo camper. We're going to test that out. So I've got a lot still going on with Parts for Star. I'm super excited uh, to show you all the products that they provide. But again, I'm going to put links down in the description below where you can check out PartsForStar.com and where you can find the gear that we covered in this video. And like I said, we've got a lot more to go. So if you have any questions about satellite internet, the Starlink Mini, the gear from PartsForStar.com, anything that you saw in the video, drop some in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with me on my other social media. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X, or my website at KempOutside.com. If you're considering satellite internet for use when you're out there camping, hiking, fishing, boating, whatever it is that you're doing, Guys, if you need internet, like we work while we travel, so we need internet. Having a Starlink has been fantastic. And now that I have the choice of the Gen 3 or the Mini, boy, I've got a lot of options, which is really, really sweet. So if you have any questions, drop some in the comments below, and we'd love to hear from you. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Thanks for camping out with us here in the video. We'll see you outside. Thank mm -hmm. you.